It came to pass in the 18th year of King Josiah that the king sent Zarephath, the son of Eliza, the son of Meshullam, the scribe to the house of the Lord, saying, Go up to Hilkar, the high priest, that he may sum the silver which is brought into the house of the Lord, which the keepers of the door have gathered of the people, and let them deliver it into the hand of the doers of the work that have the oversight of the house of the Lord, and let them keep it to the doers of the work which is in the house of the Lord, to repair the breaches of the house unto carpenters and builders and masons, and to buy timber and hewn stone to repair the house. Howbeit there was no reckoning made with them of the money that was delivered into their hand, because they dealt faithfully. And Hilkah the high priest said unto Zephan, the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkah gave the book to Zephan, and he read it. And Zephan the scribe came to the king, and brought the king word again, and said, Thy servants have gathered the money that was found in the house, and have delivered it into the hand of them that do the work that have the oversight of the house of the Lord. And Zarephan the scribe showed the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest have delivered me a book, and Zaphim read it before the king. And it came to pass, when the king had heard the words of the book of the law, that he rent his clothes. And the king commanded Hilkiah the priest, and Hamakah the son of Zaphim, Akbor the son of Mecca, and Zaphim the scribe, and Asa a servant of the king, saying, Go ye inquire of the Lord for me, for the people, and for all Judea, concerning the words of this book, that is found, for great is the wrath of the Lord, that is kindled against us, because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book to do, according unto all that which is written concerning us. So Hilkalah the priest, and Hakalam, and Arkva, and Mithram, and Aspha, went unto Hilda the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tikva, the son of Harhas, keeper of the wardrobe. Now she dwelt in Jerusalem, in the college, and they communed with her. And she said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Tell the man that sent you to me. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place, and upon the inhabitants thereof, even all the words of the book which the king of Judah hath read. Because they have forsaken me, and have burned incense unto other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore my wrath shall be kindled against this place, and shall not be quenched. But to the king of Judah, which sent you to inquire of the Lord, thus shall you say to him, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, as touching the words which thou hast heard, because thine heart was tender, and thou hast humbled thyself before the Lord. When thou heardest what I spake against this place and against the inhabitants thereof, that they should become a desolation and a curse, and has rent thy clothes and wept before me. I also have heard thee, saith the Lord. Behold, therefore, I will gather thee unto thy fathers, and thou shalt be gathered into thy grave in peace, and thine eyes shall not see all the evil which I will bring upon this place. And he brought the king word again.